Good morning, y'all. This is Z. Um, back at the $10 house. It's uh, Monday, September 11th. If this is your first video that you're watching, welcome. I got a series going on this. Um, bought this house at the county auction for $10. Remodeling it. I'm going to live in it. Um, and I've got the series going on it. Um, you can watch the rest of them and get caught up how bad this house was. Um, and what I've done. Been at it for about a year. Um, if you're new to my channel, I post a lot of uh, dog stuff, breed bulldogs, puppy stuff. Um, also hunt, so I, so I post hunting stuff and then also do outdoor stuff and just basically the care of the dogs and all the stuff I do with them. So uh, let me get to it. Appreciate y'all. So today I started putting this. Uh, Weather stripping on here. Crap. This thing not hitting right. Man. I'm gonna have to probably buy another one. Find some way to fix that. Backside is good. It's just this here. For some reason, it's not hitting the door. I think I can move. It's all kind of off. Yeah, I should have put it on the end. I couldn't think of someone to buy another one. They send you a piece long enough for that, but then when you get the little pieces, um, you have to put two of them up there or two of them somewhere. It's like I did here, I had to splice it. I got this one now, I think it'll work. And it, this, it seems like it's sticking good, but uh, if it doesn't, I just put the little staples in. Staple it here and it shouldn't come off if I need to. I'm going to have to buy some other one. Then I'm going to get to work, back to working on the, um, on the other door. It's almost ready. I got to, I got to sand the door, get everything primed. I'm going to get it primed and painted if I put it together. But let me get to it. Appreciate y'all. Finally getting put this doorknob on, but um, when I came out earlier, it was a uh, door was open. The weather strip on the bottom was to hold it, but I guess it's starting to wear out from opening and closing it. They also make these mallets and sell them. This one's a solid white oak with a ash from the trees that cut down ash handle. Hit me up. Finally using my wooden mallet actually for work. Which I don't have to with this because it's metal, but the only hammer I can find has a, a little spikes. It's a framing hammer. And just make it look worse. This is what the mallets are for. I mean, you can use them for anything, but that's what I made them for.
Now I say this bed is all burned up, but I don't have another one. I don't want to take that. I'm going to change the stuff to finish that big uh, uh, ingrain cutting board. So I'm going to do this before because it's already set at the right depth and everything. It's going to be burning right through everything. Do a quick sand on all this stuff and then uh, start priming. Once so I put that doorknob on, I'm going to take those uh, things off the door that hold the, the doorknob. I'm going to prime that too. Got it uh, put on here again. Actually, screwed down the hinges. Everything's good except that I put this on it and this was supposed to go. I thought that it went the other way around, so got a little gap, but that's okay. Now I can take the hinges off and uh, paint under them so it doesn't look so bad. I don't paint under them anyways. Um, but I'm going to sand the door first. Man, it's dirty. I sprayed it down too. Um, sand this door down, prime it. I guess I'll have to put it dirt up, just put it on it. This I'm going to straight paint it. Then uh, paint these while that dries. Flip it over to the other side. And I still got to cut the, the trim piece that's going to go right here. Go right here. Seems like a long process. Yeah, that's it. And get to paint these. Appreciate y'all. I don't know if y'all want to see this, but let me know if you want me to do more of this. Most of the time I just fast forward to do it, but I don't think anybody wants to see sanding. But I don't want to be doing it. So, but I got to sand all this inside by hand. I can sand a lot of this with the old little sander. Maybe just to get sand in there, just to get the dirt off, it won't come off. But step fast forward and I'll just get that back on when I'm finishing up. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's still a lot of dirt in there. Probably didn't get sand all the way down. I'm gonna get one of those. Um, I was scratching uh, square brushes for dishes. Go over them some more. I'm make sure I get all that dirt out of there. I'm blow it off right now first. That's what I was talking about. Some of these are a lot worse than others. I'm sure, y'all don't keep watching that. Gotta prime all these first, and then I'm gonna be putting the first and different stuff. But I guess that didn't matter. I'm not gonna clean it to, to, to do the paint, but the paint is also satin, so it's basically primer, anyways. I end up painting the doors a different color, anyways. Time to paint this door. One time, I'm going to sand on the other side. Enough of that. Put the paint extra thick on these. I think they look better, plus the, it's got a lot of cracks in it. Get on those cracks. I don't think I'm going to do another coat. But I guess I should have primed this door first being blue. 
and I probably should use a roller, but I only have a big roller and I don't want to put a bunch of paint in there. And then, uh, might probably go to waste. So I guess I'm just going to brush it on again. Man, it takes forever. What time is it? Already after four. Yeah. Get back to it. Appreciate y'all. Time to put it together. Cut this. She's done. I'm done too. I think it's after five. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of physical therapy. Door is still wet. It's, it's got thicker paint or primer. Plus they're raining seven again. So I gotta get the dogs fed before then. But I appreciate y'all. I hope you had a great Monday. See y'all tomorrow. Good afternoon, y'all. It's uh, Tuesday, September 12th. Getting back here, I'm going to start working on this door. I actually came out earlier and uh, did another coat on the door of paint. Um, so hopefully it's dry now. I'm going to flip it over to the other side and then uh, probably assemble it here. Make sure everything's right or it looks good. Then I'll take the door back off and put the frame up and just screw it onto the frame. When we get to it, appreciate y'all. It looks a lot better with two coats, but you can still see, kind of see through it. I'm gonna end up getting different paint, probably still be white, but uh, like some semi-gloss that I can wipe off, especially on the inside. This Got another coat on it. <clears throat> Try to get it as thick as possible. Hopefully when it dries, it's got some bad spots in it, some drips. That's okay, it's not even, a it's going to be just a temporary door anyway, so I can buy one with a window to put on there. Actually, I'm going to put that one on the back and buy a new one for in here. So, I think I can probably just put this one there to begin with. I'll move that one to the back and see what they measure. Come that from front of the door, put down. Let's see if it fits. Nope. Go ahead and screw it down. Now to cut the next one. I know it looks like crap, but it's gonna have half inch plywood on top of that. And probably put some fill paper on it too. It took me entirely way too long to do this. This might be tight. Got to make a minor adjustment. I think that's it. It's already after five. Quitting time for me. Appreciate y'all. We got door in. It's still not finished. It's got a cut the little trim pieces out of the siding. It'll be like this. They're in. Small victories. Hope you have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Good afternoon, y'all. Wednesday, the September 13th. I'll show you all the up to all morning. 
So the puppies tore up the linoleum out of here. So I had to get it cleaned up, get it cut up right. And I got some of this, this um, so it's a lot thicker and harder. There it goes, two o'clock. Gotta go take my medicines. So I had to get this in order to put it down. I had to take everything off, all of this, all of this off, this off, and then get some metal, cut it to size. And I'd never put a latch on this; it was just tied up. So I decided to fix that. So now these are locked and open. But uh, yep. It's always something out here with these dogs, always tearing up something. Um, let me get back so I can uh, start doing the rest of that trim for that door. Appreciate y'all. All I planned on doing was uh, getting this piece of board so I can paint it at the same time as I do the pieces for the door. So I got it cut. I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Because I still need this bottom piece. Yeah, I'm going to do the bottom of this since this is up higher to keep it level. Is it still sloping down some? You know, I was trying to figure out what to do with the steps. So it's four o'clock now. Got this done. All I did is this is angling down because it was out of level this way. So the water would come through here. If I left that like that, it would go into the the back of the board. But um, I got it angled this way now, so I'm just gonna probably. Rivet these together, caulk that, and then I'm, you know, caulk right there too. But the water will go here, then it should just come out this way because it won't go uphill. I got the stairs level. Use this bar that's used for digging on hard ground. Picked it up. See it move this over. And just packed in some uh, damn ants. And just packed the dirt in under it. As I was holding it up with this, I just packed the dirt under there. And it's staying up. It won't probably won't stay up very long. I need to get some gravel under it. I said I'm gonna cover up. I'm gonna do a, a porch right here, so shouldn't have to worry about it too as much. Cause it's not gonna be water hitting like there like it normally does so i just gotta get this stump out of here and get that other one out of there so i can get my shut off valve put in there see i got all the apron done underneath i'm calling it apron all the done underneath there that one's a little short i'll probably re redo that one and um, that one will probably need some um, drip edge on the bottom because it's stuck in a lot. Um, this is what I was thinking about doing here, but actually I'm gonna thought about it. I'm gonna do a whole all this out, out of steel, then come down. I'm gonna cut another piece right here that that goes uh, same angle. And nail the wood there and then it goes down underneath and it'll be nailed up here I'll have it folded over up here so that the door um, probably won't, I probably won't make it all it just go past the bottom of the door and it folded over the water won't go in there but it's also gonna have weather stripping under the door too so I just put this on here for now trying to look at it, see how Figuring out how it's gonna be done. It's four o'clock. It's uh, trash day tomorrow, so I gotta fill up the dumpster and uh, 
got this this one cut for here. So uh, just need to get it primed and painted. And I need to start cutting the ones the pieces that are going to go around the the door the door jam. But I'm not going to get I didn't want to get the cable saw. Um, And not be ready for it, so I gotta go ahead and get the pieces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean them first. Probably gonna be these pieces over here. I think got a couple of eight foot ones. And um, it's, a lot, it's a lot easier to clean them. You got a bigger piece to hold on to. I mean, long ways it's a bigger piece, but wider. So I just gotta clean these and cut it out of here. I have to run them through the, through the planer to get a straight edge so it's cut straight, same width all the way across. These aren't very good. A little sand and a coat of paint, they look brand new. Let me get to it, I get this dumpster, get filled. Um, Appreciate y'all. Just got this done. I was gonna fill up the trash can, but it's starting to sprinkle. So I took these pieces off here to do the bottom. So I'm gonna have to cover this up. So I got these on. Hopefully it keeps most of the water out. It's mainly just the bathroom right here. I don't think you get anything in those cracks. Unless it rains real bad, but a little bit of rain ain't gonna hurt anything. Um so I didn't get those pieces cut for the door. So I gotta sand and clean before I uh, um, rip them down the size. So uh, I think I'm gonna head in. I haven't done any physical therapy at all. So I'll do it. Last week is what I did. I started on Wednesday to Thursday and Friday, which is pretty good. So I'm going to do that same today. Tomorrow I got to go to the store, which is an hour away. Actually, there are a few stores. Got to get dog food. And uh, it's usually like a four-hour ordeal. Two hours of just driving. So I guess this dumpster is going to get full. Just threw some stuff away in it. Some trash. But, uh. Hopefully tomorrow I get this finished up. Oh yeah, I gotta get some silicone too. So I hope you had a good one. Appreciate you. Morning y'all, it's Friday, finally Friday, September 15th. Um, I didn't do anything at all here yesterday. Um, did some stuff in the morning for the dogs and then went to the store. And we didn't get back to like after four. So nothing was done here yesterday. Today I'm gonna get right to working on those pieces for the, bought some caulking. Then I bought some, uh, the, let me show y'all. Got this for the roof. For the, when I put up the pipe from the panel. Once I get done with this door, I'm gonna start working on that panel. I gotta nail in that eight foot, uh, Eight foot uh, ground steel copper. This. So that's probably gonna take a little while. Maybe not. It's been raining, so I guess I could just wait another couple days because it's supposed to keep raining. So it'll be softer, going there easier. But like I said, I'm gonna get started on doing these. I gotta sand them off. And I probably need to get a good edge on the bottom, so I'll probably take them over there to the um, to the planer joiner and plane one side so it's straight. Then I can rip them down to size, so it'll be um, even, not going wavy. Let me get to it. Appreciate y'all. I had already sanded one, and uh, look at the bottom; it was way too old. 
have me sand another one. This guy hasn't even cut them yet. Now I gotta go through and sand the parts I just cut. And then round off the top. Got some frayed edges. This is a lot of work, but I'm not having to buy the stuff. And get to doing this, and I just prime them and paint them. Should have cut them the size where I have to rip them. They don't get the sand so much. But uh, the top is just going to have 45s, and then the bottom is going to have that because the, the base had a um, 15 inch, I mean 15 degree slope. So I gotta cut the bottom of these at 15 degrees. So there's a 79 and 5 eighths and uh you put these a certain way you can just this is good but this sits better. Might be a little long. So I'll cut the one that's 5 eighths and go check it and make sure because you know the tape measuring something that's in a slope. I'm gonna go take my meds. I'm gonna go check it, see if it works. Cut them to size and uh, did a dry fit test, make sure they were gonna work. Now it's time to prime them. Dry. Don't paint. Trying to get it thick, but not too thick where it clumps up. Because it needs to. Now the wood is old, so it's more smooth. You can make it the better. It looks. You know where it looks. Should be editing my videos for the $10 house instead of messing with this stuff. Making a turntable for my brother. I had this for about a year, I haven't really used it. I think it, it's been working real good. This thing works awesome. That's exactly what I got it for. I don't know if you can see. It looks good. I don't know if it's just new, a new belt or what, but that hand paint, uh, sander that I got, belt sander, doesn't work worth a crap. Appreciate y'all. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm messing with that turntable. This stuff is dry, so I might as well put it up. you always going to put your small pieces up first. See it? It's on there. You put the weather stripping on there. That'll be it. Hope you have a good one. Appreciate y'all. So I'm going to call it for the week. Um, I think it's like after four already. It'll take me a few hours to um, get all this edited. I didn't even start doing like I need, I need to do it every day. So it's going to take a lot longer. But I always, as always, I appreciate y'all following along, liking, subscribing, sharing all that good stuff. Really helps me out. Yep, this will be it for this week on the ten dollar house. Hope you had a great, have a great weekend. Appreciate y'all.